Hey, it's Chris here again. So today's song is Love and Not a Fighter by Tiny Temper and Labyrinth. This video or this guitar lesson is for all abilities. Um, so I've included some easy power chords for beginners and for people who can't quite yet do bar chords, well, all except for one. Um, I've included a capoed version. So you want to place your capo or clip it on the second fret. The third thing we'll learn are the original chords or the bar chords and to finish off we'll pick through the melody which is the main tune of the song. So I'll play through each part or section once and then we can slowly learn it a note at a time. So this is the intro and chorus played with power chords. Okay, so we start off with seven on the top, nine on the fifth. We play this once for two beats. One, two, then we're gonna do open top, two in the fifth, one, two, and then two lots of two in the top, four in the fifth, with a short rest um, at the end, and you can do that by resting your hand on the strings to kill the sound. And then you want to move down to the fourth and fifth strings where you play four on the fifth, six on the fourth, then slide it up to five, five and seven. Now the second phrase is identical um, to the first, except there's an extra chord at the end. So here it is. You slide back down or go back down to four and six on the fourth and fifth strings. And then next, you want to repeat the first phrase twice again. Once more. So the verse goes like this. So it's uh, 11 or nine on the fifth and 11 on the fourth. You play three of these. Then down to four and six, then back up to nine and eleven, and you do this four times. Okay, next we'll take a look at. Don't fall off the capoed version. So you want to place your capo on the second fret. So here's the intro and chorus played with the capo. So to start with, it's A minor, and to play that, you want to do open first, one on the second, two on the third and fourth, open fifth, and nothing on the top. Play this once and count two beats. One, two. The next chord, also for two beats, is D major, and that's two in the first, three in the second, two in the third, open fourth, and then miss off the two top. Third chord is E minor, like this. So you're gonna do two short downs followed by a pause by resting your hand on the strings. So that's open first, second, third, two on the fourth and fifth, open top. Okay, the fourth chord is B minor, the first uh, bar chord, in fact, the only one in this version. So you wanna get your index finger and flatten it across the second fret. Um, all relative to the capo, so it would actually be the fourth, but for now it's the second fret. Um, so flatten it on the second fret on strings one to five, then place your third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth, small finger below on the fourth fret, and then finally add your second finger on the third fret of the second string. So you play that once, and then you go to C major. And that's going to be open first, one on the second, open third, two on the fourth, three on the fifth, and nothing on the top. So here's 
um, the first phrase. And you repeat that again with an additional chord on the end. Which is B minor. And then you repeat the first phrase twice again. Um, and the verse goes like this. So to play the verse, it's going to be uh, three lots of down up on E minor. Then quickly do one down up on B minor. Then you have a choice to do either four lots of down up on E minor. Two, three, four. Or three lots. And then change to the A shape E minor chord. So... And that kind of emulates um, the keyboard on the recording. So now it's time to play the original bar chords. Here's the intro and chorus. Okay, so the first chord is B minor, and that's going to be, uh, so if you know how to do a bar chord, flatten your index on the 7th fret and then do 9, 9 on the 4th and 5th, then an E, an open E major chord, and then F sharp minor, which is starting on the A string, it's going to be 9, 11, 11, 10, 9. You do this twice with a short rest at the end. And slide it down to the fourth fret, and that's C sharp minor. And then play a D major chord, the A shape, so it's going to be 5, 7, 7, 7. Then you repeat those chords again with an extra B minor at the end. Sorry, I meant C sharp minor. And then you repeat the first phrase twice again. The slide at the end. Now here's what I've figured out for the verse. Okay, so it starts off with nine on the fifth string and then 10 on the second. Now you wanna keep these fingers nice and flat so that you mute. Uh, all the other strings so, and you're going to play from the A or the fifth string and you want to do three lots of down up Then slide those fingers down to four on the fifth and five on the second and do Just a single down up on there Now you have a choice you can either go back up to that chord and do three downs down ups Or we can go to a different position, which is going to be four on the fourth and five on the first. The reason we want to, you might want to consider going down to that one is so you can slide up an octave to this chord. And it might be a bit difficult or almost impossible on an acoustic guitar, but not this one. So you want to do three lots of down up on this chord. And then slide those fingers up to 16, 17. Okay, now the first phrase of the melody goes like this. So it's nine, uh, no, 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 it's seven on the second. Double nine on the first. Seven on the first. Nine, ten on the second. Seven on the first. And then seven, ten on the second. Uh, the second line goes like this, it's similar to the first. So you're just adding an extra seven at the beginning. 
Nope. And the third line goes like this. So that's 10, 12, 12 on the first. Double 10 on the second. 10, 12, 12 on the first. Then double 9 on the second. Then on the first, play between 7 and 9 and back to 7. You can do a hammer on which is where you play one and to flick onto another one, and a pull-off, which is the reverse, or just pick these notes. And then you want to do ten between 10 on the second string to 7 on the first, and back to 10. And the fourth phrase is the same as the first. And that's it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time.